information about a controversy involving an American flag. Fred Quigley won a battle with his homeowners association to keep a flagpole in his front yard. Now the Macedonia man will receive a national honor for standing up for his rights. Investigator Sarah Buddison tells us what's in store for Mr. Quigley. Putting it on a flagpole makes it a bold image of what this country should be standing for. Fred Quigley's fight to keep flying his flag on his flagpole is about to take him to the most patriotic place of all, Washington, D.C. I think it's fantastic. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Tomorrow, the Korean and Vietnam vet flies to the nation's capital to receive the George Washington Award. The National Independent Flag Dealers Association gives out just one each year to a person who has displayed exceptional patriotism. It will be some feeling of accomplishment that I stood up for, being, for what is right. NIFTA reps say they picked Fred after seeing News Channel 5's story on the Macedonia man's struggle. His homeowners association was threatening to take Fred to court, saying the flagpole violated its rules, but gave up after the story was featured on national news and local media outlets around the country. I would have rather the whole thing been quelched in the beginning. Though Fred won the battle, it sometimes seems like he lost the war. It's caused a lot of uh, disruption, a lot of hard feelings uh, from the neighbors to us. And I guess our feeling is we don't belong here. In spite of that, Fred also feels it was worth fighting to keep his flag where he says it belongs. It's symbolic of pride for the country. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5. The situation with his neighbors is so bad, Mr. Quigley says he would move if he could. Fred leaves tomorrow morning and he returns home on Friday.